Samsung's Q60C is an entry-level QLED TV. In today's video, we're gonna talk about why this may or may not be a great option for you. We're gonna talk about everything that has to do with the picture, the user experience, and then of course, we'll glaze over the audio of this TV as well. So sit back and enjoy the next five minutes. Now this TV has a native resolution of 4K, which means 3,840 pixels by 2,160. So this comes out to about 8.3 million individual pixels on this TV. It is an edge lit panel, so it's not gonna be as bright as some of the other upper end QLED TVs, but it still is a QLED TV, so it's gonna be brighter than most conventional TVs. And I would say it still has pretty great color, mostly due to the HDR10 and HDR10 Plus that this TV comes with. The Q60C also has great 4K upscaling. And if you're not familiar with upscaling, essentially what upscaling is doing is just taking a smaller image and scaling it up to a larger image while sharpening it using, you know, prediction, based codecs and all that fun stuff. It gets really complicated, but that's essentially what's happening. Although the processing power is not the highlight of this TV, I was still very surprised at how smooth it was. I didn't run into any issues when using the operating system, which is really nice because you usually expect that with some of the lower end TVs. Overall, I do like the design of the Q60. It's not thick, but it's not thin, and it's just kind of right in the middle. I think it'll look good on the wall or on an entertainment center. Which another cool thing about the Q60 is that you can set this TV up without any tools, no screwdrivers needed. What's really cool is that these feet actually slide into the back. You can see there's two areas, one if you wanna go more inwards and one if you wanna be more wide. And that's just gonna be helpful for if you have a larger or smaller stand, having those options. Obviously, if you have a really tiny stand and you need that center base, then this TV might not work for you. I also like that this TV comes with Samsung's newer version of their solar QLED remote. And if you're not familiar with the solar QLED remote, what's nice about it is that you don't really have to charge it. You can just charge from the light that's in your room or if you're near a window, you can place it by a window and have it charged through the sun, but you basically don't really need to charge this. But if you do, let's say you're in a basement, it does have that USB-C on the bottom. And if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Now earlier, I did say that the operating system was pretty smooth, and that operating system that I was talking about is Samsung's Tizen 7.0. It's pretty easy to navigate through the menus, and if you were looking, you might have seen that game controller menu. Now this is actually a relatively new feature, and it's called Game Hub, and what this allows for is turning your TV into basically an Xbox. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can get a Bluetooth controller and connect it directly to the TV and then cloud game off of the TV. If you're playing really competitive FPS shooters like Call of Duty or Fortnite, then you're definitely gonna want to have a dedicated Xbox to handle the graphics. But if you're just looking for casual games or this is going in you know, a kid's room or a bedroom and you wanna casually game, you can easily just use a controller and it's almost like having another device. And as far as connections go, it's pretty basic here. You get two USB ports, one ethernet port, and then three HDMI ports. They're all 2.0, there's no 120 hertz, which might be a deal breaker if you're a big time gamer. And then of course it has that antenna port and optical for your sound part and sound system. And I think that you know one of the nicest things about this model in particular is the large variety of sizes that it comes in. You can get this in 32 inches, 43, 55, 50, 65, 70, 75, 85, just a ton of options in terms of size. So you can you know, pretty much use this in any room. Now, when it comes to audio, the Q60C unfortunately falls with 80% of the rest of the TV market. And that's just the audio quality is not that good. But to be fair, it's not really designed to be. You see, nowadays, most TVs are extremely thin and they've packed those speakers 
really, really tight. There's not a lot of room for good quality sound. And even if you do, usually it's facing down. It's gonna go into the carpet or your entertainment center. It's just overall not gonna sound good. Some of the premium TVs have audio that like sounds better when you mount it on the wall, for example. But you know, overall, this is why you need a soundbar. So in terms of a good soundbar, I think the best pair for the Q60C is gonna be the Q600C soundbar. And that's gonna be a 3.1.2 channel soundbar. I think that's the best bang for your buck and it's gonna match this TV very, very well. If you wanna watch our video on that, make sure you go check that out. I'll leave that right here and down in the description as well. And if you're looking for a non-Samsung soundbar solution, I recommend the JBL 500. I think that's a good equivalent. The only problem is you don't get that Q Symphony feature, which now that I think about it, I didn't even mention Q Symphony. So because this is a Q level TV, if you pair it with a Q level soundbar, both the TV and the soundbar are gonna come together and create an even more epic sound. Not to mention it's the 3.0 if you have the C models. So last year's was 2.0, this year it's even better. And I just thought I should point that out. So yeah, I think that's just about everything that I wanna talk about with the Q60C. If you guys are looking to pick one of these up, make sure to check the links down in the description. We really do appreciate your support. And let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought about the Q60C. And if you already have one, make sure to share your experience so that way everybody else can see. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is a product that you're interested, make sure to email me at YouTube at Wall so I can get you a special YouTube discount. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like these and we'll see you in the next one.